Yo, 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 it's your boy West the Tech here to bring you another one of my personal favorite tech tips to help you as an artist grow in your craft. Now, today we're going to go over how to get your music on streaming platforms, all right? So if you're a beginner or recording artist who just recently made some music, got it mixed and mastered, and is wondering exactly how to get your music on streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, and all the other streaming platforms, then this is the perfect video for you. Because in this video, I'm gonna explain exactly how to get your music on all of those streaming platforms, all right? Now, to jump right into it, the way that you actually get your music on all of these streaming platforms is very, very easy. All you essentially have to do is, is sign up with a music distribution company, all right? These are companies that are created specifically to help you get your music on all of the different streaming platforms, all right? Now, the downside to working with these companies is you actually have to pay them to actually do the service for you. You actually have to pay them a fee so that they can get your music on all of these different streaming platforms. Now, that may raise a question asking, well, hey, instead of using a music distribution company, is there a way that I can actually get my music on all of those streaming platforms directly? Can I just do it myself without having to pay that fee? Unfortunately, as of right now, that is not possible. The only way that you can actually get your music on streaming platforms as an independent artist currently speaking is actually through one of these music distribution companies, all right? That's the only way that we can actually get it done right now, especially when it comes to all of the different platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, and so on and so forth, all right? So it's not difficult to do, but there is a cost to it, all right? Now, when it comes to which music distribution company to go with, that is usually the biggest question that I receive, and that's usually the hardest part that an artist goes through when it comes to picking a music distribution company because there's so many music distribution companies out there. Just to name a few, we got DistroKid, we got Ditto, we got TuneCore, we got CD Baby, we have United Masters. As you can see, there's a bunch of music distribution companies. Those are just a few that I just mentioned. So the hard part, like I said before, is, is picking which music distribution company to go with because every single one of these music distribution companies are different in their own way. They all have pros and they all have cons. So when it comes to picking which music distribution company will fit best for you, that's something that I can't ultimately answer for you. But what, what I can do is give you a recommendation of what I use and also I have videos on all of the all the top music distribution companies. I have made review videos on all of the other music distribution companies. So you could always go through my channel and and search, you know, which music distribution company you're thinking about. Because like I said, I made reviews on all of them. I made reviews on Ditto, on DistroKid, United Masters, TuneCore, CD Baby, um, um, Root Note, Fresh Tunes, you know, 1RPM, even some of the smaller ones as well. So if there's a particular music distribution company that you have a question on, I probably already made a video for it. So you could check it out. You know, just go through my channel and you'll probably find it. But as far as my personal recommendation is, the one that I have been using for years is, in fact, DistroKid, all right? Now, like I said before, all the music distribution companies have pros and cons, all right? When it comes to DistroKid, for me personally, the reason why I choose DistroKid is because there really isn't any extra things that you have to deal with, all right? It's really straight to the point. You pay them your, your fee, and then you get your music on, on streaming platforms. Now, DistroKid works as an annual basis, all right? You pay them an annual fee, and then they get your music up, and you could, up, you could um, upload as much music as you want. You could release as much music as you want. All you have to do is pay that annual fee. Now, there is an argument out there for other distribution companies like CD Baby that instead of paying an annual fee you just pay a one-time fee and you never have to pay again that is an argument that when it comes to music distribution companies that is valid but in my opinion it really depends on who you are as an artist and how much music you're releasing right because for disco kid you pay like twenty dollars twenty thirty dollars and you could eliminate as much music as you want versus something like cd baby where you have to pay ten dollars every time you release a song all right so if you release five songs in let's say six months, you, you've already paid $50 to CD Baby versus 
that one annual fee that you could pay on DistroKid to release as much music as you want. But like I said, all distribution companies aren't the same. They're all built a little differently in their own way. There's pros and cons to all of them. I'm just letting you know what I recommend. I use DistroKid. That's the one that I typically recommend because I, I haven't run into any issues with all the years that I have been dealing with them and they do pay out, all right? Now, if you have any questions in regards to any other music distribution companies, feel free to leave comments in the comment section below, all right? If there's one in particular that you want questions about, I'll literally just tag the link of that video to the comments so you could go straight to it if you're having trouble finding it on my channel but like i said i've done reviews on a lot of the music distribution companies so definitely check them out and search any particular one that you may have any questions on all right but that's pretty much it it's really that simple to get your music on all of the different streaming platforms all you got to do is find a music distribution company that actually offers that all right and you pay them whatever they're asking for and then you upload your music you you basically create an account with them you upload your music on their website and they will actually get your music out there to the Spotify's, to the Apple Music, to the titles and things like that, all right? But that's pretty much it, all right? I hope this helps. Thank you for tuning in. Also, if you have any questions in regards to, you know, anything music related, whether music business, you know, um, missing and mastering, whatever, any questions that you may have in regards to being an independent artist or music in general, feel free to leave comment sections or comments in the comment sections below. Also, if you're an artist who's looking into leaving your nine to five job and doing music full time and you want to know exactly how to do that, feel free to grab my ebook. That ebook will show you the way, it'll show you exactly how to actually get to a position that you could quit your nine to five job and do music full time like myself. I do music full time, all right? But that's pretty much it. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Follow his place with accent, bows like woe. Buddy, I'ma do my thing. Cream of the crop.